Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are being pursued by uh, zombie scientists and ugh, that one just uh, just kind of drops goo everywhere. That's horrible. You uncouth person. Alright, what have we got here? Science ID cards. I guess I could grab one. You dodged the zombie scientist. Yeah, I should probably move away from the zombie scientists before picking stuff up. Uh, what have I got here? Uh, I don't know. I mean, let's have a look at my inventory. So I got three science ID cards, and you really only need one per lab. I've already opened one lab. Which we'll probably go back and have a look at at some point. But, uh, yeah, I don't... I'm, I'm trying to collect... Oh god. You get pins and needles all over. The zombie scientist opens its mouth and a beam shoots towards you. Okay, I think we're going to have to kill these guys. I mean, the problem is we are in a bit of pain at the moment, so... I kind of slowed down a little bit. But we're still dodging them pretty well. Don't seem to be taking any damage from them, except for that beam that it hit me with. Which, uh, it actually seemed to do quite a lot of damage, now that I look at it. Um, okay, let's kill this one. Pew, pew! Alright, so they got quite a few hit points, but, um, they didn't seem to be doing much damage, other than the beam shooting out of his mouth. What have I got here? Just carrying some RAM around with it, because, you know, it's a scientist. <laughs> uh, lab coat. So, yeah, I thought it said CBM bottle of clean water then. It was just, uh, it's another thermal dissipation one. Uh, how many undershirts are you wearing? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, you know what kind of scientist that was. Uh, I'll grab the Adderall and the clean water. Uh, I guess we'll mark the CBM thermal dissipation on there as well. Why not? Uh, I believe I... that's the broken man heck, isn't it? Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay, let's carry on going down south and heading towards the little town that has uh, stuff that we want. Hopefully. Anyway, it's actually quite a long way away from the evac shell, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. Uh, we have some traps over here. It looks like they have ammunition in them. And well, there's some corpses over there as well. Uh, a signal flare and some 45 rounds. Well, okay. Not anything that I want, particularly. A fitted hazmat suit. Um, yeah, I'm not... I don't really need that, I suppose. Uh, I would... Yeah, I think it is worth checking these scientist corpses in case they have, like, iodine tablets, or more importantly, mutagen. Because that happens occasionally. Uh, so we got some more Adderall, some more clean water. A PDA. I think that has a light on it, but I have a flashlight. But I will grab the batteries out of it. Uh, PDA. Unload. And throw it away. There we go. Uh, let's check the other ones. There's a question mark. It's a book. Medical application and findings. Okay, can bring your cooking skill to nine. Requires cooking level eight. Well, okay. I think once I've got my cooking level to that point, I could probably, you know, get it higher just by cooking something. But uh, I've never actually got my cooking skill all that high. It is useful in making chemicals and stuff, but, uh, you know, I just generally use it for cooking meat and heating up water, so, uh, nothing particularly useful there. We've got some weasels and rattlesnakes knocking around. Uh, we're getting close to the town, so we should see... Oh, they seem to be racking up pain. It is cloudy. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this pain's coming from. Where would this pain be coming from? Uh, I can take some aspirin, I suppose, but... Well, it's not going to do much. Here we go. 
a spitter zombie. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Uh, oh, okay. The first building we come to in the town is a doctor's office. Well, see, I would hide behind our... Yeah, I was going to say I would hide behind a bush, but it'll just bloody dissolve it, won't it? So, right, let's stand here. Let's get it on this poppy. Although, actually, if it breaks the poppy, it might make me a little bit drowsy. Uh, okay. Okay, I just managed to knock it back, I think. So, is that bush still there? Yeah, it is still there. Okay, there we go. It dissolves into acid, and there's nothing left. Zombie to the south. Uh, tough zombie. Right, is this the front of the building? It is, I think. Uh, what's in that car? What is that? Uh, that's a 15 inch wheel. Okay. Uh, that is a trash can. Okay, uh, that's probably going to set off an alarm, so we won't touch that just yet. Uh, glass jars, empty refrigerator. Yeah, one of these days I'll have a guy who's really good at um, computer stuff, and I'll be able to actually get into the medical supplies in these places. So I actually can tell they're empty from the other side of the room, but it kind of seems like cheating. Bandages, always nice. Lab journals, Smythe. Uh, that's basically the same as that book that I just scoffed at a few minutes ago. A high level cooking skill book. Uh huh. So, uh, what is in here? A hacksaw. <laughs> what kind of doctor is this? It's a more disinfectant. I suppose that's always useful. I mean, the hacksaw is useful, but. It's not a priority at the moment. Uh, so let's try this place. That's a toilet. Uh, yep. There is a truck inside the building. That's cool. Yeah, that's a little bit broken, I suppose. So what is this in front of me? Tough zombie. There's a couple of wolves over there. Uh, okay, well... Can I... No? Right, okay, that is literally, like, there's a wall there. And a car. <laughs> so, I'm not getting out that way. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think that might be a little bit of a bug with the terrain generation. I can't imagine it's intended to have cars spawning inside uh, buildings. But uh, let's have a look at the map. Where are we now? Okay. So, if we go directly south on this road, we will... Oh, is that acid drizzle? Uh, right. Now, what is this place here? Uh, that is a clothing store. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go in here, I'm afraid. I'm closing the door like it makes a difference. <laughs> we're just going to come through the windows. I mean, I guess I could go clothes shopping. There's a nice polo shirt. Uh, sweater, tank top, t-shirt. I don't know, I've heard some people like the sports jerseys, I'm not quite sure why. I suppose they're quite warm for uh, such a, a light piece of clothing, but... Oh, some nice sexy leggings there. Um, okay, hello tough zombie. Welcome to my shop. I guess it is mine now, a fitting leather jacket. Might be quite cool. Uh, it might be quite cool to cut it up into pieces. Although I will probably destroy it using a pocket knife to do this. There we go. 18 pieces of leather. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's get on these. Is it my imagination or did that just jump at me? Come on, onto the counter. There we go. Uh, okay, my armor is protecting me. And the baseball bat is a ridiculously effective weapon. Mail carrier shorts. Right, there should be one coming in behind me as well. Where is it? Here it is. Another tough zombie. Hello. Welcome to my shop. What can I get you? Oh shit. Didn't get that right, did I? There we go. Pew pew. Right, it's biting my foot. It's obviously knocked it onto the ground. There we go. 
Alright, what are you wearing? Uh, a bunch of tattered stuff. So, I don't suppose I brought my sewing kit with me? No, I didn't. Because, I, yeah, I just picked up a, a bunch of leather rags and, ah, yes, the acid drizzle. That's why I came in here, and that's why I can't immediately leave. Fitting waistcoats, uh, a shopping cart, okay. Right. Yeah, apparently we have wheelbarrows now as well. I haven't seen one, but uh, they hold more than the shopping cart. Which doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> I think shopping carts are bigger than wheelbarrows, aren't they? At least the ones at my supermarket are. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of clothes in here. I mean, I'm good with clothes, I think. Um, yeah, we've got army jackets and stuff like that, so... Uh, right, I guess I'm going to have to wait for a while. Whoops. Uh, okay, well, I just accidentally waited for the time that was at the top of the list, but never mind. The acid rain has stopped, so that's all I wanted. Good, Wolfie. Stay away, Wolfie. Right, let's have a look at this car. Electric motor is working. Uh, what else is not working? The wheels, right. Well, it's always something, isn't it? Okay. Not making much ground here. What is that building? Abandoned storefront. Uh, I've got a bank, a gas station, restaurants, and a bar. Are we hungry? We are. Right, uh, I think we might swing by the restaurant first. Get something to eat. Ah, oh, there's a little beetle. Does it work? Uh, right, the engine's in the back, isn't it? No, the engine's broken. The wheels are working, though. So you're just going to be stuck on the other side of there. There is a decayed zombie coming after me. Oh, I actually managed to get through. Ah. Nope. Oh. It's a shame the rain doesn't wash it away quicker. Oh, you're stuck in the car again. Uh, this is the restaurant. It looks like a bit of a crappy restaurant, to be honest. We've got two uh, lots of four tables. One of which has a butter knife on them. And that's about it. Oh, am I trapping myself in here? Yeah, I am a little bit, though. Uh, rotten fish sandwich. Ceramic cup. Raw macaroni. Clam chowder. That looks, um... That looks very filling, actually. Let's eat the clam chowder. Oh, well, I'm still hungry, apparently. Uh, cornmeal. Yeah, that's just not even worth it, is it? Uh, a lemon? Let's eat the lemon. Nom 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 nom. Disliked lemon. Oh, come on. Lemons are nice. Pear, tomato, tomato, if you will. I won't, but... <laughs> Alright. So we filled our stomach and... <laughs> Hello. Yep. Let's wait for him to break down the door. Let's move out of the way so he doesn't spit on us. Don't smash the counter. There we go. Pew, pew! And he's dissolved. Let's move over here so that we don't let him step on the uh, dissolved counter. If it is dissolved. A metal working chisel. Uh, FNP90. Oh, it's okay. A metal working chisel. Now I'm thinking that that is probably quite useful later on. I mean, I'm going to mark this. I haven't actually touched any of the metal working stuff that was added uh, quite a while ago now. Like, I mean, you can build a forge and forge armor and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I've never, never got around to it. A skeletal dog. And yeah, this town is a lot quieter than the one I was in previously, as I suspected. So, I think I had the right idea coming down here to get medical supplies. Uh, I'm going to check the garage, because I know it'll have junk food in it, but it should also have stuff like uh, some, uh, orange juice, I think. I think that all of these fridges are empty, though. That's what it looks like. 
Uh, yeah. Well, that's a shame. Although, I would consider orange juice to be junk food anyway, myself, but... There you go. There's a lot of sugar in it. Uh, Alright, southwest. We've got a, another spitter. So, I don't suppose this car works, does it? It'd be amazing if it did, being right next to a gas station. It's not even a gas-using car, so... Oh, fuck. I didn't see him there, because he's yellow and he's standing on the yellow bit of the road. Nope. Bye-bye. Uh, what is this? A bar. Right, let's uh, get him in this window. Whackity, whackity, whack. Nope. Uh, let's see what we've got in here, then. We do have some cans of beer, which I think my character is quite happy to drink. I have drunk some beer with him before, so we'll grab that. Because it is quite useful, sometimes. So what's this question mark out here, then? What is it? Anything? No? Oh, shit. Where the bloody hell did that come from? Ow! Okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> uh, what were you wearing? The feral hunter was wearing a trench coat and a sweater and stuff. So many people wearing shorts in this game. Or so many other zombies wearing shorts. Like, this is set in New Zealand. Uh, not New Zealand. New England, isn't it? Uh, yeah, engine works, but the wheels don't. One of these days, I'll find a perfectly good working car. This has got a V8 in it. Oh, it's a police car, that's why. Nice. Yeah, I think we definitely need to fix up a police car at some point. A swimmer zombie dives into the deep water. Oh. Oh, I can see some things. Uh, we have a Z9. Zombified version of one of the German Shepherd dogs used by law enforcement. Uh, yeah. So that has Kevlar armor, basically. And there's also a zombie dog way over there, but... Uh, now what on earth is this thing here? Is it just like a really destroyed car? Armored personnel carrier. Holy shit. Alright, some of the windshields are missing. So... Does this work? It seems to have wheels working. Oh, I really need to check that out if I don't die to this bloody armored zombie dog. I mean, you know, I've been complaining about army do uh, zombie dogs for a while. Right, okay, my armor is protecting me from its bite. So, uh, nope, let's keep smashing it. Get items on the ground, just the corpse, right. Uh, yep, yeah, let's get them trapped on this side of the car, I guess. And, uh, whoops. Zombie dog dies, very good. No, keep smashing. Alright. That's probably the worst of it. I can handle the normal ones. It's just the bloody dog variants, they're so fast. Right, so what have we got here? Uh, five point harness. Not quite sure what that is. So the engine's broken, but. Uh, where are the wheels? Are they the wheels at the back? Externally mounted gas tank. That sounds so safe. Uh, okay, there's a one wheel there. That's good. Where are the... Ah, there it is. There's a wheel. It's under the door for some reason. Well, yeah, I suppose that makes sense. So the wheels are fine on this. It really just needs an engine. And there's a police car just to the north with a, a perfectly good V8 engine in it, so... Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm spelling it wrong. I don't care. It's just a note. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, that should be fun to play with if I get around to it. Alright, you can see a Rottweiler. Uh, what is this that I'm next to? That is the pharmacy that I've come here to investigate. So, it's a bit smashed up. Is there a... Oh, I think there was something in here. Uh, what can I see? I can see a lot of junk food, chewing gum and stuff. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything on the back wall, which is really where the good stuff is usually kept. So, bon appetit. 
Oh, watch already for kids. Uh, towel. Uh, war novel. Yeah. Should probably just aim for the good stuff, really. So, there's aspirin all over there. Some money. Uh, MP3 player. Might be useful, actually. Fruit juice. Yeah, there's just really not all that useful stuff here. I'll grab the MP3 player and the aspirins. Uh, I don't want the money. It's not useful at all. Really. It might be when they actually fix NPCs, but until then... Alright, let's get this thing that's coming after me. I think it's the Rottweiler, isn't it? Oh, it's the Decayed Zombie. There we go. You had an alarm clock on you, for some reason. Well, I don't really think I need that. Oh my god, look at all these swimmer zombies that have come in. Let's just check the back room. No, there's never anything in there. Right. Clean water, fruit juice. Uh, I'll try and drink the fruit juice. Okay, we are. We can drink fruit juice. And it's slightly enjoyable. That's good. Wait a minute. Did I check the other one? Yeah, I think so. Ah, I quit smashing all the things. Alright, more aspirin. And I'll grab that NyQuil as well. So it'll help us sleep. It's always useful. Um... Do I want anything else out of here? I mean, the reason I ask myself is because I want to set fire to the police. <laughs> there we go. Oop, might not want to stand that close to it. But uh, I will... Ouch. Uh, whoops, I kind of went through the wrong window there. Didn't really mean to go through that window. What is that? Oh, it's the Rottweiler. Yeah, I know I just jumped back into a burning building, but um, I want to keep the zombies in here. I want to kite them back into the building and then hop out of the window. Whoop! Bye bye. Right. I'm not taking too much damage from the combat here, so. Uh, uh, it seems the building has taken quite a while to uh, catch flames there. That's disappointing. So yeah, I think I'll wrap this episode up there with a bit of arsony, and we'll go check out this other doctor's office and these other pharmacies in the next episode. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.